hey, this is Dino, let's just try this uh, JOTIO. So what I want to do is generate uh, JWT and JWT.IL, the website, and using a particular uh, algorithm, the PSS algorithm. Let's use PS256. And then verify it in Apogee Edge using the verify JWT policy. So just by selecting this algorithm, PS256, in the website. Uh, by the way, I'm not affiliated with this website. Uh, I believe it's generated by off zero uh, separate company. But just by selecting that algorithm, what I get is a contrived um, JWT with a few claims, uh, as well as a, uh, a signature, according to the algorithm that I selected, based on uh, an RSA private key that is, I don't know, I suppose, generated. I didn't paste this in. This is just generated. Okay, so this is the private key that was used to generate the signature, and this is the public key that we need to use to, uh, to verify the signature. Okay, so that's all clear. Let's copy that public key. Now I'm going to go over into Apogee Edge. I'm going to create a new proxy. Uh, we'll do this real quickly. Reverse proxy, we're going to call it uh, JWTIO. I'm just going to put in an existing uh, target, but actually this is going to be a loopback uh, proxy. Um, so I don't, uh, I'll remove that target after I generate it. Uh, it's really just, I'm just going to use it to, to hang the verified JWT policy. Okay, so we'll go into the develop tab. Uh, as I said, I don't want the target, so I'm going to delete that. We have a route rule that's going to route nowhere, which is just what I want. And uh, we'll add a, uh, a couple of policies. The most, the first interesting one is verified JWT. Uh, I don't like spaces, so I'm going to remove that space. It's a style thing. Uh, the algorithm that I want is PS256. The source will be, we'll send it in in a header, quest.header.jwt. Okay, the uh, PS256 requires a public key in order to um, Code it, and the public key is the thing that we copy from the JWTIO uh, website. Okay, so let's clean this uh, XML, the XML tags up. It's not super key, it's public key. And the rest of the claims, I don't care to verify. Basically, I just want to verify the signature. Okay, so that's the first policy that I'll use. And then maybe one more policy that is an assigned message that says, uh, this is my response. Okay, so we'll do um, something pretty simple. It'll be set uh, payload content type equals text slash and that's a message template so I'll say output colon and then JWT dot verify JWT dash one dot payload dash JSON which is the name of a context variable that gets set by the verify uh, JWT policy uh, when it uh, decodes and then verifies. And then we'll do, um, let's see, I think we'll get the 200 um, response code automatically, but we're going to assign this to the response. And we'll put that in the response flow in just a second. What else do I want to do? I think I want to remove the inbound headers. So I'll just specify the headers element and that'll remove all the headers. Okay, now in the proxy endpoint, create a flow. It's going to be path and verb. It is going to be, I don't know, T1. It's a post. Uh, we'll add that in. Now we have the flow. Uh, so this, uh, this verify, I'll drag into the request flow, the 
response. I'll drag them to the uh, assign message. I'll drag them to the response flow. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's just review. Uh, verify JWT is pulling a JWT from a header and it's verifying using this public key and requiring that algorithm. And if that succeeds, then it's going to set a bunch of context variables, one of which is this one, and then we have a subsequent policy running in the response flow that just as, you know, emits that. So let's save it. And we will deploy it. Trace it. So let's just turn on trace. And let me go back to the JWT IO uh, website and grab that JWT. So now flip over to my terminal. I want to set uh, my environment variable. It's that thing that I just pulled from JWT.io. And I'm going to curl this uh, and invoke my endpoint, which is at JWT IO. T1. And it has to be a post, so let's do x post. We'll give an empty payload. And the most important part is the header, which is JWT, and it'll be the contents of that JWT that we just pulled out. All right, all makes sense. So let's invoke that. And what we see is the output, which is the payload JSON from that JWT. Let's flip back to the trace window. And as we can see, one request has come in. The verify policy has run. Is it valid uh, with the um, API or the public key that we specified? The answer is yes. This is the this is the JWT that we passed in from that was generated by um, JWT.io. You can see the algorithm. You can see the subject or as a string. I don't know why it was set to that. The uh, the main claim was John Doe. The issue dat. So all that looks really good. Uh, so what we've just seen is generation of a uh, JWT using PS256 on the JWT.io website, and then verification of that same JWT using the verified JWT policy in Nigeria. That's it.